Hello everyone, it's Baby Turtle here. Welcome to the very first real-time covered call slash wheel strategy video that I'm starting using the O shares. O is the ticker for the realty income company. So this is also known as the monthly dividend company. It's a very famous REIT real estate investment trust, which pays its dividends on a monthly basis. As usual, I'll do a quick fundamental analysis. And then I'll go into the chart, the technical analysis and my scenario modeling on how much I expect to make from this trade, my worst, base and best case scenarios. And this will be fully real time. So you will be able to see just like with my Walmart video, you will be able to see every single trade I make um, for, for this strategy. You will see how much I gain. You will see how much I lose. Every single trade I will share transparently with you guys. So let's get right into it. All right, few words about the trading journal. So as you see, I actually initiated my first, um, indirectly initiated my first position about a week ago by selling a put. I did not want to buy directly. Um, looking at the chart, the chart looked good. It was obviously like somewhere around where, where the cursor is now, more around 67 level. Um, currently it's trading at 65.4. Obviously we've been having some really red days. And part of the reason I'm switching to this strategy is actually um, you know, this is a this is a relatively low beta stock safe asset, um, safe haven. I'll, I'll come to that in a second. But I'm glad actually I sold that put instead of buying the shares directly. What I did was I sold a 67 and a half put for a $250 premium. So what that means is that if by 14th of April, if all shares are trading above 67 and a half, nothing will happen. I will keep my premium and that's it. If, six, if it is below 67.5, then I will be assigned 100 shares of O with a cost basis of 67.5 per share. But my effective cost basis will actually be $65 because I collected, I already collected $250 premium. So this is my money. The 250 is my money. It's not going anywhere. Whatever happens to this trade, that money is my money. I can use it in my account. I can withdraw it, whatever I want. So, however, because we are in a very red market with a lot of uncertainty, geopolitical uncertainty, health uncertainty around the Fed policy, potential uh, concerns about a recession, NASDAQ falling into bear market, S&P in downtrend. So really, really uh, weak indices overall. And the market is, you know, predominantly red. I mean, we had a bit of a relief rally after the Biden speech today. But as, uh, as I'll show the chart, chart shortly, um, you know, we are, we are definitely uh, in a red, uh, red mode uh, these days. And there is no sign that the major indices are breaching or breaking their downwards channels. So I sold a put and I sold a protective bear call as well. Now, what that means is I sold the 62 and a half, 65 bear call spread, $480 premium. So that will hedge me. So if I get assigned my shares, as you see, 65.00, that is my um, CSP cost basis. So if I get assigned, that would be my effective cost basis. Furthermore, because I sold this bear call spread and collected $180, if all drops to say, say we have an apocalypse scenario and all drop to 50, 40, even then I will be hedged further to uh, 63.20 level. I doubt if any of that will happen. Um, I mean, all dropped to those levels only at the bottom of the COVID crash. So I really don't expect um, that kind of uh, that kind of price action. But um, I'm hedging myself further just in case up to 63.20 level. So these two plays cannot go in the same direction. So my cash secured put, if this is up, this will be down. By doing so, what I'm doing is I'm capping my max gain $280 from the CSP play because from the bear call, if O spikes, if O finishes well above 63, uh, 67.5, this bear call will result in the max loss. The max loss would be $70 because I sold it for 180. The delta between the legs are 2.5 points, meaning 250 margin has been used. 180 already collected and 70 is the max loss. So if the, uh, if the O share spike before 14th of April, then this will be in loss minus 70. This I already keep. So I will, my total gain would be $180 in that case. However, if things go bad, which very well can happen, we are in a very, um, you know, very weak market. Um, you know, we, we are talking about recession. We don't know how the, the Russia sanctions will play out. We don't know how the Fed policy of the CPI print on March 10 will play out. So a lot of uncertainty, a lot of red. That's why I'm introducing this extra hedge. So because I sold it for $180, 
I my my break even essentially is 63.20. So I will be green as long as O is above 63.20. Totally happy with that. Um, if I get assigned, as you know, I will be doing a um, a covered call strategy and dividends. I love to couple my regular dividend income with covered goals uh, with covered calls uh, you you guys know that from the previous videos and uh, this is exactly what i'll be doing with realty income so if you worked on this company what does this, what do they do and um, you know is it a good company bad company why i picked this etc now a bit of fundamental review here so this is a single tenant please read so their customers are typically convenience stores, drug stores, dollar stores. Walmart is one of the biggest tenants. And you know, I love Walmart. I already talked about Walmart fundamentals. I have an ongoing covered call challenge in my channel. Uh, you can see I share regular updates on uh, Walmart as well. So you see real time how much I'm making from that trade. So Walmart is, for example, one of their biggest tenants. These are typically immune to the um, COVID type of uh, situations even, right? Like the significant demand shocks, significant environmental or significant you know, macroeconomic shocks. These stores are pretty pretty immune to that as we've seen lots of companies like Walmart including bounce back really well like McDonald's, like uh, CMG. So actually um, it's, it's more on the, on the robust end I would say from a tenant uh, profile perspective unlike casinos and unlike some other kind of, um, some other kind of uh, potential tenants. So I like the tenant profile of realty income in, in general then in terms of the dividend characteristics we have 25 years of monthly dividend payment which is amazing 600 consecutive monthly dividend payments that says it all really increased dividend over 100 times since its ipo in the 90s you have a 15.3 percent 20 year annual annualized return that is amazing guys i mean that obviously includes dividends and that is like high single digits in smp 500 so that's substantially above S&P 500 and I, I think it's above Nasdaq as well so pretty good return and this is a safe haven investment this is a low beta sleep well at night swan um, kind of stock this is not a uh, this is not a tech stock but it is beating the indices it is beating the tech index it is beating the S&P 500 15.3% annualized return amazing performance some stats here on what that would mean if you just put five thousand dollars just five thousand dollar dollars per year into that that will become 530,000 uh, in 20 years and 2.3 million after 30 years. So again, says it all really. This has also a low beta. So basically what that means is if the indices move by one point, O would move up or down in absolute value less than one. So it really gives, gives you that peace of mind, especially in the chaotic markets that we are experiencing now. It is also one of the two only REITs that have a rating by Moody's and an increasing dividend at the same time. So really speaks for itself. Uh, I it was actually, so <laughs> two things. First, a book uh, a recommendation, book recommendation, and, uh, and why. So first of all, this book is great, but I would not only recommend this book by Freeman Publications. I actually read about probably like six, seven of their books at different points in time. So Freeman Publications is a great resource. I love their books. Um, you know, I highly recommend that I got a lot out of them and I'm not getting paid or anything to say this. <laughs> so, they, you know, I'm just saying they, they cover uh, option strategies, different stock strategies, really good, especially if you're in the beginning level, sort of, you know, starting your options journey, really recommend their books. It's interesting because I was thinking about this company, this was in my radar, and then in this book, I actually saw that they do talk about this as well. And some of this information here is, is from this book. So let me be very honest and credit them as well. Their book is great. And I really like their other books as well. They have a book on Iron Condors. And you know, I love Iron Condors. So uh, it's definitely one of the books I've benefited earlier on. Uh, their, their Iron Condor book. They have books about covered cost strategy, wheel strategy. So really, really good resource overall. So this is the fundamental piece. Let's go quickly to the chart. So O is... Um, still trading significantly below its pre-COVID levels, which is um, sort of around 22%. Honestly, I I like this this because you know we have a big overvaluation problem in the market. So it's one of the few companies where you know we can. The, the, this is so overvalued; it ran like crazy after COVID. It's one of those companies where that kind of Argument cannot be quite made because it's still trying to catch up its pre-COVID levels. So it's at the bottom of its ascending um, trend line. As you can see, that's the white line I drew. It respected multiple times. This is the weekly chart for simplification. It respected the bottom end of its uh, trend line 
multiple times. Um, as you can see, probably uh, roughly speaking, a good 10 times in total when you count these weeks as well. And currently it is right at the bottom too. So if there's an established trend line, I do watch for the bottom of the trend. If I see some consolidation signs, I do go in. That's my general strategy. Of course, there is no guarantee that this trend line will hold, but I think from uh, from a technical standpoint, this is a good, uh, good, uh, good uh, point to open a position. Right now, what you have is a... Um, the confluence of the weekly 100 EMA, the bottom of the the, um, the ascending channel, and potential consolidation candlestick. So we have two hammers in a row here. This green candlestick is a hammer, very clear hammer. The, the, the one after that is also a hammer. And maybe this one forms as a hammer as well, because this is weekly, we still have time. But hammer is a reversal candlestick, so it does not always play out. But typically, hammers reverse the, the trend, and they come after a significant drop. So they reverse the drop to upside typically. So as you see, I hedged myself all the way down to the weekly 200 moving average, which is this white line here. So even if it drops there, I would still be in at break even with display and would be selling calls and collecting dividends to generate regular income. So going back to my trading journal, I think I've given you all the details why I picked this company, a quick fundamental and technical analysis. I will also put a Seeking Alpha article below. Um, there is a really nice DCF model, an in-depth analysis by uh, this author, Gravenhurst Capital. Let me credit them as well. I put the link below. I recommend you read it as well if you want to uh, get a better fundamental analysis, a fundamental understanding of this company. But uh, in a nutshell, this is the play, uh, my first entry play into a realty income company. I would be more than happy to uh, get a sign. That's why I kept my strike a little bit high on purpose because I do want to get a sign at some point at a good price and I would then be collecting my monthly income, my monthly dividends as well as my, my monthly covered costs. So really creating a paycheck from this stock to pay myself regular income. So this is about it guys. Um, any questions? Please do let me know if you got anything out of this video. Please do subscribe, leave, it, leave a comment and like the video. And many thanks for taking the time and watching.